Potential changes are happening at the state level after 13 investigates revealed your personal privacy is at the risk of the Department of Revenue up for sale for millions of dollars by our own state government. Now, Colorado lawmakers are looking for a solution. Caridio News Channel 13 investigative reporter Lauren Barnes spoke to those lawmakers who were just as shocked as our viewers to learn the state is not breaking any laws and is legal. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right. That's a message from a couple of Colorado lawmakers expected to introduce legislation any day now that would stop government agencies from selling our information to third parties. Within the marble walls and golden rotundas, lawmakers pledge allegiance. One nation under God, indivisible. To liberty and justice for all. Hey, veterans and military first. Picking up business, COVID-19 interrupted last session Helping with justice for Coloradans personal privacy on their minds. After 13 investigates broke the story back in November. The state of Colorado is making millions off the personal information you provide at the DMV. There is no way for a driver to opt out. It's legal under the Driver's Privacy Protection Act of 1994, as long as photos, social security numbers, and medical records are not part of the sale. It blows my mind that we have allowed this to happen up to this date. 13 investigates reaching out to every single Colorado lawmaker on behalf of our viewers, on behalf of people like Chuck Vassant. I don't want my information being sold, and I want my state legislatures to protect that information and to represent me and everybody else around me. One of our investigations revealed that the state of Colorado is making millions of dollars selling drivers personal information and they have no say in the matter. How does that sit with you? Uh, it's absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, that doesn't sit well with me. The reality is privacy is to be prized. At least two of Colorado's Republican senators plan to introduce bills this session that would make the Department of Revenue's practice illegal. I am working this session on a data privacy bill for all consumers, for all individuals in Colorado. My legislation is going to ban it all as it sits right now. Senator Jerry Sonnenberg represents much of rural Colorado. He's still writing his bill, researching just how extensive our information is being shared or sold. He suspects it's not just the DMV. We don't know how deep this goes. We don't know if it's just the Department of Motor Vehicles. We don't know if it's every agency that uh, happens to have your information. It's a question Senator Paul Lundeen from El Paso County hopes to have answers to as well by the time his bill is introduced. And one of the things we're looking at is this question of not only big business and big tech's use of data, but government, big government's use of data and the privacy associated with that. The issue will require bipartisan support as Democrats have the majority in both the House and Senate in Colorado. Protecting everyone's privacy is not a partisan matter at all. The State Department of Revenue telling 13 investigates it won't comment on pending legislation, but state employees will work with legislators. Meantime, Coloradans are left without a choice, counting on legislators to be their voice. It's not your choice to not register your car, and you should have the, the ability and the option to opt out of having your information sold. It's not just Colorado. Many state DMVs across the nation sell driver's information legally for a profit. California created a Consumer Privacy Act in 2018 following similar concerns of data misuse. Lauren Barnes, 13, investigates.